Hello everyone, this is your Red Alert page admin, Wedge2099, coming at you with another review. This time, we're going to take a look at my recent purchase here. Is Transformers Combiner Wars Dead End. And this is a very nice looking car. Alt mode is very sleek, like the lines quite cool. Um, I don't have any real problems with it. I uh, have a few concerns that again the back doesn't like to completely seal together and the issue that when you try to put the hand fist foot fist weapon up on, the, up on him it goes on his back like that and it's kind of angled up like it's firing artillery up into the Lot for long distance. So it's not bad. Nowhere near as good as Breakdown, but they all can't be gems. Still not bad. And he does have the side ports here, so you can plug in. It, uh, so you can plug in his uh, muffler slash. Uh, baton or tonfa on either side looks good not too bad that off one thing I, I, I've seen on mine is this is really loose for the front I don't know why that is so loose it's not like I'm gonna be displaying him upside down it just is kinda loose but he has some very nice detail Nice Decepticon logo. They had a decent little stripe going down the back. The original was yellow. This is more of a goldish blah color. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all in all, decent. A lot of mold to detail on the back. Repro Labels has teased, and I put it on the Facebook page, that they do have a set coming out for him. It's going to be a yellow stripe. A straighter Decepticon symbol on the front and a few other things and I'd really like for them to put a little more detail in these tail lights something just to make it look that much better yeah, okay now we're going to take him and put him in leg mode just a second here to adjust my camera I'm using a different camera this time just to see how everything runs. I like how this one is auto focusing a lot better than the other one was. So, we'll see. It rolls okay. It is scraping the feet when it, when you try and roll it on a surface. See? I mean, if it was sealed together like that, see, pressed together like that. You hold the back end together. It rolls really nice. But beyond that, it doesn't. So, that, that's the rolling weakness of this car. It's just that it doesn't quite get it 100%. Now, want to get him in leg mode? Easy. I do. Take the piece. Jam him down on that like that. Take the front end, pop that, take the front, pop out this combiner port, and the other thing is that they give you nothing to grab onto here. Like on breakdown, he had a little peg there that lets you push it out. Here you have to really, really work on it. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to stay together. Yeah, I'm no good at doing leg mode for him. Particularly because I don't care. I'm not putting him in any, on any combiner. I think 
it's supposed to stay up like that. That way we plug it straight in there. That's him. Need to tell. And take that. Put the peg down like that. Flip out the legs. Swing that down. Make sure that the knees are together, pushed up like that. There you go. Put that in there. Here you have him as an arm. And with his really weak legs not holding together very well, it's not going to be a very good arm mode either. So, sorry folks, in my opinion, Minasaur is just the really the real loser in the Combiner Wars Wave 1 and 2. Alright, we're going to go with robot mode now. Open those up. Fix his chest. Give me one second to adjust the camera a little bit. Alright. Now, I've tried it both ways with this down and up, and to me, his, leg, his legs work better and his posing is better with it swiveled and the, the combiner port swiveled in the up position. So you just close the leg. And it does, there's a little notch right here. Notch there. It's going to go right in that side of that groove. It does give you a nice little click. Let's see. Close that. There you go. It tells you it's in. That side too. Nice and stiff. There we go. Take the arms out. Tilt it back up again. I only have a very small viewfinder, so to me, it looks like everything's going off camera. Whether it is or not, I don't know yet. So, there he is. Take the head down. And now there's nothing to really tab into here and here. It's all just flush, so you just bring that down. And these two tabs here will fit into these two grooves. go, Turn around, flip the back all the way down, these double hinges here, swivel, swivel the front end down, then back, <coughs> there you have that, arms are up, break them at the elbows, which it is kind of an odd looking elbow, being that much of a gap between the bicep swivel and the elbow, but it's not horrible. Pop the fists out. The fists are on a very nice, clicky, I don't say ratchet joint, but it's, it's like a friction open where it's not going to close too easily. It's not going to flop around. There you have it. There he is. Take the foot fist weapon again and close it back up. can hold it in his fist, but it is kind of a loose connection. That's in his hand. That's not good. So, you can also put it up here on his shoulder. It does work like that. It holds still a little bit. Take his baton. It does hold it in one hand easily. And he actually does have enough articulation to do it basically as he did on the cover art hold it as if he's trying to beat someone down with it but getting mine 
I noticed, and I did show it, and that was the one picture I have shown of him in bot mode, was that I like to have it as a baton or a tonfa. So basically, just take it, put it in his hand upside down. You see this little post here? It's just hold things in, in car mode, everything together. It actually does fit into one of these little grooves. I get my meat hands out of the way. Fits in one of those little grooves right there and holds it very securely. See if I can actually get that done while on camera. Because see, it does kind of slide in and out really easy in the bottom of the fist. But if you take it, careful with it. You had a little. No, nope, nope, that wasn't it. First one. There we go. Nice click. <clears throat> Goes right in there. Let me show you. It is causing a little bit. Sorry, wrong side. A little bit of a stress. Or that's just for me pushing it in right there. But it holds. It holds so strong like that. And to me, it allows for a much better pose, more dynamic. Like he's trying to guard from a hit, or he's coming in for a forearm smash to really take someone out. I think it's a great look. I think it's a great way. Now, do I recommend doing it? Only if you feel safe about that little tab there. Because that I don't want I don't want anyone else to break their tab off. I'm fine doing it. But be careful because that tab could possibly shear if you put too much force on it because it's really a thin piece and it's I think it's just for transformation to hold things in place. Uh, head sculpt is quite nice. I like the gold, the purple on the face, the nice gunmetal gray finish on on the head, and on the basic body parts, the legs. I really like that tone of gray. It looks nice. So, with that, I'm gonna sign off with this. I like him. I'm happy I have him. <clears throat> um, he might, just for giggles, go in leg mode with breakdown to be legs on Superion for a couple of pictures. I don't know yet. But that's just me thinking out loud. So, oh. put that away. Close that up. Uh, pardon me on that, sorry. Too much talking. So, again, this is your Red Alert page admin Wedge2099 signing off, and I hope to see you all around sometime. Bye.